I'm really excited about cloud development because fundamentally it removes friction for developers, or at least reduces friction for developers. And uh, in particular, it tackles one piece of the developer uh, experience that developers generally have not been very keen on, on working on, which is operations. Allow the developers enough power to, to you know, include deployment as part of their iterations in their Agile process. And that really uh, is a powerful thing. What you can do is you can deploy your application and then based on how demand materializes, you can add more resources to it. So that flexibility without having to run the data center yourself is just very exciting. Small team can focus on the user experience, the uh, interface, the visible graphical interface of the app they're creating. And all those details about deployment are vastly simplified. I think the thing that's really uh, fascinating to me about cloud development is how it changes the way we look at operationalization of products. And so I now have the magic of a great productive stack, whether it be Rails or a whole set of other stacks that are really exciting right now. Uh, but I get that same magic on the productivity side on the deployment side as well. The biggest challenge with cloud development today, um, I believe, is the fact that you as an end user will have to choose to consume one and only one pre-configured stack. A lot of it's about perceived constraints of, of being locked into a single vendor. It makes people uncomfortable. They're, they want to be comfortable that they can take their application, move it to a different provider if they need to, move it into inside the firewall if they need to. Uh, you don't own the data center anymore, so you don't have any organizational control over what happens in the data center. You're working with a third party. PaaS systems are, are very closed off from you, and you can't really see very well what's What's going on with it? It's it's kind of this this black box of components that you know you, supposedly magically your website's just going to to spin up on. But you know, as as everybody knows, I mean that's that magic story rarely happens. Maybe it happens often, but when you get into a pain point, you really want to be able to know what's happening on the system. I think the next level for Paz is uh, is is for it to move and become more of a cloud operating system. Platform as a service uh, will evolve the same way most maturing industries evolve, which is that it, it's going to be more and more open. What I'm really excited about is kind of getting rid of that uh, single vendorness uh, of what's going on these different services and allowing the developer to write things the way they want to write them to something that's abstracted away from the underlying infrastructure that a particular cloud provider has. And that gives you this amazing portability. I want to think of a data center as a box. I want to have a bunch of boxes throughout the world. And I want to have a simple sort of operating system and API interact with it. And I think the flexibility that, that OpenPass gives you is really interesting from that perspective. I think uh, it's going to solve a lot of problems in terms of uh, market acceptance. Let me use the platform I want, configure the way I want, but run in the cloud as that utility service. And up to now, I haven't seen solutions in the marketplace that really do an effective job of fulfilling that promise.